Hello. Hi. Can I ask you something, if you don't mind? Yep. Uh, how to look for the vehicles? That's what I'm trying to figure out. Uh, if you just speak to this guy, if you just like use your third eye and see what uh, used vehicles he has. Just move over. Oh. Okay. Yeah, and then it'll uh, show you all the vehicles that are currently in stock, uh, but they change every hour. So the prices change? No, the prices stay the same, but the vehicles that they have uh, might change. Oh, so it's like random. Does it depend mm -hmm. on... Uh, um... it... Go ahead, I'm sorry. No, it, just because it's a used car lot, it all depends on what the locals decide to sell that hour and then... So it could be the exact same stuff as it was last hour, or it could be all completely different. It's just random. Oh, okay. Oh, that's okay. That's a surprise yeah. kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, one big thing as well is uh, you can't sell vehicles just yet. So uh, if you're looking for a vehicle, uh, one, make sure that you know have the the right money for it because uh, you can't just buy one sell it later and get the money back and two uh you can't just park it anywhere uh if you want to park it up in a parking lot you have to go to one of the registered ones and you have to pay by month to have it protected parking what if i don't want to have protected parking uh, then you can just park it wherever, or, well, you can just leave it wherever, but uh, some cars are lock pickable and uh, you might wake up with your car not being where you left it and people might go through your stuff and take it out of the vehicle. Oh, I see. And yeah, after... So, uh, the... Yeah, oh, no, I'm sorry. I was just going to say the... Uh, <laughs> the more expensive vehicles are normally the ones that aren't able to be lockpicked. However, if they have the Karen Rebel, I think it's $960. Let me check. Uh, that one can't be lockpicked, and it's a great starter car. Um, and how much does it, it cost? Uh, 960 before tax. However, if there is someone here to sell you it, you can get a 20% discount. Uh, which takes it to seven sixty eight before tax, but then it just works out at nine hundred and sixty dollars again. That's a lot. I just woke up. I have no money. Yeah. Yeah. No. It's a. It's definitely a struggle getting a vehicle. Um, however, I can also recommend you to outside where they do rentals. Uh, so if you are looking for a job, you could get a rental for an hour. Mm -hmm. Um. They cost like $50 and, uh, you know, if you don't bring it back within the hour, then uh, bounty hunters can come and repo the car. But I'll be honest, if you're going to go out and make money, then it really doesn't matter too much because like state pay 100 an hour and you can make that pretty easily doing various illegal methods too. To pay my bill. What did you say? Uh, to pay my bill. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so um, you can pay it now, but then, uh, well, you have to pay it now, but then uh, essentially you can just go make that money, uh, either working at, say, like Burger Shot or Clucking Bell. Uh, you can do sanitation, go around collecting garbage. Uh, mm -hmm. Or you can uh, lockpick cars, break into them, or run through locals' pockets. However, the lockpick is going to be, I think it's $480 before tax. But that also gets you a vehicle that you necessarily don't need to buy. So, you know, there's, there's methods in which you can make that money back. Personally, mm -hmm. would recommend lockpicking cars if you have the money for it. It's just a little bit more profitable. So, yeah, first of all, I need to know where to buy the lockpick, and I have never lockpicked a vehicle before, so I also need to learn that too. <laughs> oh, so uh, 
Come with me. Mm -hmm. uh, I'm just showing someone who's new to town just the ins and outs of everything, so I'll be back in a sec. So, uh, this isn't my car. This is one that I may have lockpicked. <laughs> Maybe. Okay. Uh, okay. So essentially, you were uh, you buy the lockpick, uh, and then you walk up to a car. You use the lockpick, and uh, you'll be uh, encouraged to, you know, slide a little line into a little blue zone. Okay. Uh, the the line will go on its own. You just have to make sure you stop the line when it gets to the zone. Uh, and you know you just have to find the space to mm -hmm. uh, to stop it. Okay, uh, I got him. You, you buy them from here. And this um, guy here will sell you it. Okay. Uh, does it break quickly or easily? Uh, if you aren't able to stop the uh, the line in the space when you're like trying to open the car, it will it'll take a chunk out of the durability. So like. I'd say about twenty percent of it will uh, will get chipped away, uh, but if you manage to successfully lockpick everything, that lockpick will last you about a week or two. Oh, so I just have to buy one then. Yeah, you only need to buy one. Oh yeah, I got it. Thank you. I appreciate the help. Thank you of so course. much. Um, I'll give you a little rundown. I'm part of uh, Helheim MC. Uh, we are located in Mirror Park. Okay. Uh, I'm actually going to take you there because, you know, I don't need this vehicle. I just found it and wanted to drive it for a little bit. Um, <laughs> so okay. I'll show you where our compound is. Uh, out of respect, please don't pull in without anyone being there. Uh, okay. You know, all our vehicles are there, and that's where we live, so it's like walking into someone's home. Oh, um, I see. So I can get shot and shot. Uh, I got it. Nope, I'm not going to do that. Yeah, no, uh, <laughs> essentially, like, we will make sure that, you know, if anyone's messing around in our home, that we deal with it accordingly. Because uh, you knew I'm just going to, I'm just going to let them know that you're with me now. Uh so we're going to pull up to the compound. Um, I'll also let you know the rules of Mirror Park because, you know, I don't want you getting uh, pulled up on by any of the other club. Uh, yeah. Essentially, if you're doing anything within Mirror Park, uh, mm -hmm. just call ahead, let us know. We're in the directory. Okay. Anyone uh, that is Helheim will have their name or uh, will have Helheim next to their name. We mm -hmm. basically claim everything from here uh, okay. up the street and to the compound itself. Anything past the compound we don't care about, uh, which means that, you know, the whole casino is yours for the taking if you want. Okay. So uh, we have all of this, and then this is our compound here. Oh. So this okay. is where, uh, this is where we hang out. It's just me. Uh, okay. Just letting them know that not to, not to uh, do anything. So yeah, this is this is where we live. Uh, if you see anyone around, uh, let them know that you spoke to Luna. That's me. Okay. Uh, this is the casino parking lot. Mm -hmm. So all of these cars. No, I'm all good. Uh, all of these cars are basically free for lock picking. There's this orange one. I'm pretty sure this is available. Uh, so if you uh, just want to try and lockpick it. Oh, yeah, sure. Uh, so if I a, come this... here and try to get any of these vehicles, do I have to inform you guys? Uh, not from the casino, no. Oh, but if okay. you're doing it just in Mirror Park, yes, just because we might be doing some bigger level stuff and we need to know if the cops might appear. Oh, okay. I got him. Yes, okay. it's it's essentially just to cover our back, just in case, you know, cops decide to roll in and think we're doing shit. Uh, we just need to be prepared. 
Yeah, I, I get it. I get it. Yeah. Can I ask you <laughs> um, something? If you can yep. mind. So, uh, I mean, now that I know uh, you are in a gang, so I think I can ask you this. So, um, if I try to sell a weapon, uh, I, sh I just bought a weapon license. How much mm -hmm. does a weapon go for? Uh, it really all depends. Uh, I think people will sell them for around a thousand to two thousand. Uh, you oh. just got to find the right kinds of people to sell them to. What do you uh, mean by right kinds? Uh, some people who don't have weapons licenses will pay a little bit extra for weapons, you know, because they don't have a legal way to get them. Yeah. But you need to be careful with doing that because uh, essentially you would need to report your weapon as stolen to the police. Yeah. Uh, and if you report too many weapons as stolen, they're gonna look into you for possibly weapons trafficking. Oh, so they may try to arrest me for weapon trafficking. Yeah, so it's a, it's a case of don't sell them to the same people every time. Uh, mm -hmm. Make sure you space them out. Don't do too many in a 60-day period. I think it's three in a 60-day period and they start getting suspicious. Oh. So it's not a very profitable way if you're buying guns and selling them on. Oh. Uh, but there is there is there is ways to get uh, guns illegally if you uh, if you pickpocket some locals they might have a gun on them. But I mean I need a weapon for that right in order to do so that. pickpocket no you can just walk up to them uh, from behind and as long as you know you don't startle them they, you can run through their pockets. Oh I didn't know that oh okay yeah, um... yeah no. It's a, it's a very it's very straightforward, you know, you just walk up behind them and use your third eye to look in their pockets. Uh, um, word okay. of advice though, some locals will turn around and start shooting at you. Oh. Yeah, um. uh, they, they normally the, the ones with guns will use their guns if they get scared. Um, I see. So, oh, uh, okay. Yeah. <laughs> oh, sirens. One second. Sure. Sirens, but they sound like they're on the freeway, so we're all good. I just want to say this that you have been wonderful, you have been so helpful to me. I really appreciate, by the way. I do, of course. Thank I, uh, you. you're, you're new. I, uh, people need to learn somehow, and I'll be honest, some people are going to be a lot more hostile than we are. Uh, we, oh. we like to help people, we're trying to build a community in Mirror Park, so you know, we're just helping people get to where they need to be. So, if I say what's up to someone, am I gonna get shot? Oh. I uh, hope not. Not necessarily, you know. People people are nice, but, uh, you know, you might just be walking down the street and someone might need a hostage for something and they might just choose you. So it's, it's, a, it's a very hit or miss situation right now. Some oh. people are very uh, dismissive of civilians. The cops necessarily think everyone's a criminal, so it's oh. very much of criminals will act like criminals because we've already been profiled, and uh, criminals don't necessarily hate civilians, but it's a case of, you know, sometimes they need a civilian to help with something so that they don't get shot. So, can a criminal take a criminal hostage or no? They can, but it then becomes a grey area of if you're affiliated with a gang and a gang takes you hostage. Then it's like a gang yeah. versus gang. Okay, I get mm -hmm. it. <laughs> okay. Yeah, so. Uh, um, okay. Yeah, no, they're not coming in. Yeah, so uh, it's. Just be careful if you're if you're not rolling around with anyone. My uh, best thing to recommend right now would be check out the directory, uh, learn mm. what we've got going on around here, get on Twinster, make some friends, and okay. uh, you know always always make sure that you have uh, 
at least someone if you need help. Oh, um, uh, I actually. On the freeway. I, I don't have anyone. I'm just alone by myself, so. I mean, yeah, no, I'll give you my number, but uh, also, like, I'm not normally around at this time. So, uh, oh. sometimes it's a little hard for me to help. Oh, there you okay. go. That's me. I still don't know how to save this, but I'm gonna uh, save it in uh, my contact. So yeah, just save it in your contact, uh, just copy the number, because um, there's not really anywhere to save documents unless I send it to you uh, personally, and oh. then you're stuck with it until I delete it, which isn't ideal. <laughs> oh, um, can I call you so that you can have my number? Yep. That is me calling you, man. Perfect. Uh, what's your name? Oh. Uh, we are nearby Diamond Casino. You can call me Diamond. That's fine. Diamond. Okay, perfect. It's really nice to meet you, though. You have been wonderful, by the way. You're an amazing person. Thank you so much. Of course, I try to help. Uh, yeah, so while we're here by this car, you can't look pick every car. You, it's just going to be a case of learning what you can and can't do. Okay. Um, so I would recommend putting it on one of your main five fingers. Uh, you know, if you think about uh, cabin yeah. to sit, yeah, so just uh, put it on one of them so that you can quickly use it. You need to be at the driver's door seat to be able to lock pick it. You can't use the passenger side. Oh, it's already. Oh, it's, I might yeah. have already unlocked this one. <laughs> I, uh, I love this car because it's nice and fast. Uh, it's a little hard to handle if you're not used to it, but um. It's one of the faster cars that you can lock there. Isn't it okay? Um, yeah, I like actually, Vector, actually. It's really nice. Isn't it Vector? Yeah. Uh, what did you say? Uh, Vector? The vehicle name? Uh, no, Vector? it's um, it's a double D. Uh, I've forgotten what the make is. Uh, um. I can't remember. But I know it's a, it's a double D. Uh, okay. Yeah, look out for this car if you can find them. They're very good. They're very nice. Stupid. Uh, okay. Follow me down to this vehicle. Okay. Uh, you should be able to lock pick this one. If you just want to try and have a go. Sure. The main things you're looking for are phones, uh, anything that uh, has the word Ruby on it. It, it says I cannot lockpick it. You, you can't lockpick these? Oh. Uh, is there anything else in this parking lot that you can lockpick? I want to I wanna at least, you know, get you to see how it is before I, you know, let you go and try it yourself. Just in case you have troubles with it. Yeah. Uh, is it not um, the same as hot wiring though? When I did with the stranger? Yes. Oh, did you just hot wire that car? Yeah, I did. I did actually. Yes. I so, did. so it, it is the same. But um, essentially, when you when you uh, repeatedly lock pick cars, your hands get a little sweaty, and it gets a little harder to do. It gets a little faster. Uh, okay. So you know you can't just constantly do it. There is um. There is a time where you need to just let your hands rest, uh, mm -hmm. and then you can go back to doing it. I'd say it's about maybe an hour to an hour and a half, but you can hit maybe like ten, twelve cars before it gets to the point where your hands hurting too much. Oh. oh okay. Uh, that sounds wonderful to me. Thank you. Yeah. Uh, so uh, yeah, looking for phones, anything that, uh, you know, there'll be little black USBs that say Ruby on them. Uh, you're looking for that. Uh, you know, you can maybe find uh, generic seeds in the glove box. Uh, if you get any of them, make sure that you plant them in a secure area because they might, you know, grow into uh, certain plants that may be able to be sold on the uh, street at some point. 
Mm -hmm. uh, you know, like, uh, if you like smoking, then, you know, it's them sorts of seeds. Oh. Um. Uh, what you need to do is you need to plant them, let them grow for two hours, and then uh, harvest them, then hang them up, uh, let them dry for an hour because they'll be wet. And then once they've dried, you can uh, buy some rolling papers and uh, roll them into smokable objects. Mm. Ah, fuck it. I'll just come out and say it's weed. So, uh, like know, a joint. Into joints. joints. Yeah, so you roll them into joints and sell them on the street for people. Uh, it's very low risk uh, if you have a secure area to grow them. Uh, the cops will have to try and prove that you're selling them. So, you know, if you go to a secure location that has a very uh, low access and availability into, in terms of pictures, that's good. Mm -hmm. uh, but you also need to make sure that the location is highly populated with locals. Mm -hmm. Because the more locals there are around, the more likely they are to want to buy. Uh, mm -hmm. I would recommend, just just for now, uh, keeping on the move when you do it. Make sure there's no cops when you get locals to sell to. Mm -hmm. uh, they will give you ruby uh, cash and sometimes white USB sticks. Oh, I see. Yep. Uh, that's uh, that's all the entry level uh, crime stuff. Uh, mm. Let me know when you uh, when you've had a go at all of that, and if you are looking to do more, or I can give you information. But I will not be able to help you with it. Oh, because uh, you're in a gang? Is that the reason? Uh, more so because um, you know, like I can take you out lock picking and stuff and doing stuff like that, but. Uh, anything higher than that, I want you to experience on your own because it's a little bit more fun that way. Um, okay. Yeah, okay. You, you know, learning the streets is uh, not something that can just be taught to you all the time. Yeah, uh, yeah. Making friends, finding out what to do, that's the real fun. Yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah. just know there's a very high means of making money in the city if you know what to do. Uh, okay. And... You know, be careful when getting money because the uh, the cops are the cops are a little shit. And if you don't have proof of where you got that money from, they will try and raid you and take everything that you have. So oh. I would recommend trying to get a job or at least uh, coming up with a way to make money, even if you don't actually use it. You know, so that when you're putting money into the bank, you can be like. Yeah, I got this from stripping at the Vanilla Unicorn. Oh, I think I I'll go with the from... taxi driver. I, I got it yep. from my taxi driving, you know, people gave it to me. Yep. Yeah, yeah. No, uh, tips is tips is a great way to uh, clean money. Uh, yeah. Just try not to do too much at once. Uh, the FIB gets suspicious if you're cleaning like $5,000 or more in a day. But um, realistically, uh, if you're putting it in as tips, it's not necessarily going to be that high anyway, you know. Just be smart with uh, how you label stuff. Like, mm -hmm. if you say you get tips but then put in 100,000 all in cash, that doesn't necessarily scream tips to the cops. Yeah, I got it. Yep. But yeah, no. Um, have fun with the car. Uh, I, I love it. It's it's definitely an acquired taste, but it's definitely good. Uh, and yeah, if you need any more help, let me know. Okay, thank you for showing me uh, till here. And thank you for of all course. the information. I really appreciate it. You have been nice so much. Like, really <laughs> helpful. Thank you. Hey, yeah, no worries. Uh, let me just uh, ask something really quick. Is anyone doing anything in Mirror Park right now? All right, perfect. Uh, yeah, if you want to hit uh, cars in Mirror Park, uh, you have the all clear to do so. No one's doing anything. Oh, and uh, okay. yeah, just have fun. Uh, go learn. And yeah, if you ever need help, let me know. Sure. Have a good one. Bye. Take you care. Too. She is so nice. I like her. Oh, wait, why did it stop?
I guess I just don't know how to start it again. Oh, I need to actually keep on it. I gotta figure out the key one.